the left uh, surgery for primary otosclerosis. And I've already elevated the flap, um, making an incision from 12. This is 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6. So 12 to 6, and then elevating only the posterior half of, 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 the, of the external uh, of the uh, tympanometal flap. Now we are exposing the ossicular chain, so we can see here the incus and the stapes. You can see that I've exposed the fascia nerve by doing this bony membrane resection, and you can see here the corda tympani, which is preserved. Now the first step would be now to separate the incus from the stapes in order to check the ossicular chain mobility. We need to rule out any other problems such as malice ankylosis. So I'm just elevating a little bit of incus like this. You can see the joint here moving a little bit, so it's fine to, it's easy to find it. And I'm going to stabilize the incus while I'm doing the, the uh, incudious tapered joint separation with the joint knife. Quite a thick one, by the way. It's a good idea to put the, to place the, 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 the suction tube on top of the distal tip of the incus to, uh, to uh, avoid any uh, incus dislocation. It would be important to do that. Right, so now I can check the ossicular chain mobility. I will check malice incus by moving the malice like this. I, I, need, I use a, a small needle. And then, so you see the malice incus both mobile. And now from the top of the head of the stapes, I'm checking the up and down mobility, which is fixed. So we have a completely fixed uh, stapes. I'm going to demonstrate the stapes on me without laser here in this case. And I'm now cutting the uh, stapes tendon. Quite a thick one. Don't change the micro, s'il vous plaît. Un autre. There we go. Now I can use the micro drill to drill out the superstructure. And I'm going to drill out first the posterior cruz. And I want to stabilize the stapes while I'm doing this. So a good idea would be to place the, the, the suction tube on the other side of the anterior cruz. And then using this uh, macro drill to drill out the posterior cruz like this with a low speed drill. So I'm going to change the burr. So you see I'm drilling out the posterior cruise progressively without any pressure and uh, <coughs> just uh, using uh, controlling the speed with the foot pedal. It needs to be a low speed drill. And again, uh, 0 0.7 millimeter diameter diamond dust burr which will allow me also to perform a 0 0.8 millimeter diameter stapedotomy. Now the posterior cruise has been cut, so I'm going now to cut the anterior cruise, which is more or less eaten like this. <coughs> so it's not easy to drill out the anterior cruise, so I can try to place it, but you see we have the fascia nerve here on the right, so it's too close. So I'm going to drill out on the uh, anterior pole of the uh, anterior cruise. There we go. So I think I can dislocate a little bit the uh, superstructure because I've already cut the posterior crus, and I will then be able to drill out the anterior crus more easily like this. Quite a thick one. Usually the anterior crus is thinner, but uh, in this case it was still a little bit thick. So now I can remove the superstructure with the hook like this. 
and now we have a nice exposure of the full plate and of course now I need to uh, measure the distance from the incus to the stay piece full plate in order to determine the prosthesis length I'm going to use here this measuring device so I'm touching the full plate in the deep and then I'm looking uh, to the three notches you see the superior one is in front of the incus which means 4.5 so it's going to be 4.5 millimeter the lower one is 3.5 the mid one is 4 and the other one is 4.5. Okay, so now I'm going to use uh, again the macro drill on one side and uh, a 0 0.7 millimeter uh, diameter suction tube. So same burr, 0 0.7 millimeter diameter diamond dust burr and uh, a 0 0.7 uh, millimeter suction diameter suction tube. So you see I'm always starting a little bit the drilling before touching the foot plate so I can control uh, the uh, resistance of the foot plate. And I just leave the diamond that's doing the job by itself. It's quite a quite a resistant foot plate. Now you see the stapedotomy is done, I just need to enlarge it a little bit more. There we go. Now the stapedotomy is fine, I'm controlling the fluid with the uh, section close to the stapedotomy, but not in the stapedotomy of course. Now we're going to um, cover the stapedotomy with the vein, then performing the vein graft into position. This is the vein which I already pre-shaped before at the beginning of the operation and as usual this vein was taken from the dorsal face of the hand with the sticky side which means the adventitial side down to the plate to the glass plate. Now we are facing the intima and I'm going to grab the vein uh, with the sucker 0.9 millimeter and I will now introduce the vein uh, with the sucker and stretching the vein with the needle. That's why I like to have both hands free to do this. So I'm going to grab it and to stretch it like this. So now still facing the intima of the vein. There we go. And now we need to uh, prepare the prosthesis, which is going to be again, as usual, a 0.4 millimeter diameter Teflon shaft. I'm gonna cut at 4.5 millimeter length. I put this uh, piston inside a cutting block. And now we need to break, break the memory of the loop of the piston, which will be then crimped around the incus. So I will first introduce the shaft within the stapedotomy and then the loop around the incus. There we go. All right, now I need to clean the loop and then we will check uh, the position of the shaft looking for the bending sign. So I use two hooks to close the loop around the incus like this to ensure precise stability, but you can use a curved forceps, of course. All right, so we're gonna look for the bending sign now. C'est bouché. Pas bien, hein? Même neuf, là, vous plaît. Okay, looking for the bending sign, you see if I move the shaft, the piston is bending but not moving, which is a good proof to ensure that, uh, to be sure that the process is in good position. I mean the shaft, and you see the, again the bending sign, like this. 
and now the mobility from my lips which is fine so then it's easy and uh, I, I will reposition the flap now and put a, a metal cell at the end which as you as usual will be removed on the fifth day 